Greetings everyone, myself Parthiv from Flectra and in this video we are going to see how you can upgrade your Flectra instance. So every time we release a new version of Flectra, we have a lot of people asking us for how to upgrade, how they can upgrade their Flectra instance to a newer version and which is really an easy method or easy to do it. Let's see how you can do it. So here, uh, let me show you what version of Flectra that I have. So if I do a take and you can see I am on version 1.4, I am on release 1.4. I have checked out this uh, from Git lab so I can do a take and I can see the version directly. Now I am going to start the server simply. So it's just a simple 1.4 version server with a couple of apps installed and uh, just started it in a debug mode. You can just uh, start it normally as well. So just logging in. I'm just showing it to you like how the upgrade will work. Uh, so you can see over here in the screen uh, information regarding the version and the apps that I've installed. So this is just the demo database that I've created, and it's on Flectra 1.4 version. And I have a couple of apps installed. So if I show you which apps and modules that I have installed and because this is for demo purpose so it's all with demo data so you can see over here I have around 39 apps installed in the system including CRM, invoicing and purchase. So now let's upgrade this database to newer version which is version 1.5. So I have checked out version 1.5 in the same code base so if I say git check out version 1.5 which is a tag already so it's check out 1.5.0 now I am at version 1.5 you can see over here so it's release 1.5 now the same database that we want to upgrade we just have to start the server but with two additional parameters so it's the same command that I used for starting my server On a first parameter is hyphen u all so it's for upgrading all the apps and then hyphen hyphen stop after init so these two additional parameters will upgrade the database and stop the server once the upgrade is done so you can see over here the Flectra version is 1.5 and it has started upgrading the apps so base module is being upgraded uh, this process may take some time depending on the number of apps that you have installed, number of uh, apps that are in your database. During the upgrade you may find such error messages. That is because of some dependency we may have changed. But don't worry about it. Let the process finish and then you can see these errors will be gone. So, uh, these are basically uh, issues uh, when you change the dependency or when we add up new apps and which has some change dependencies but once you upgrade it will be taken care automatically so as you can see over here it's upgrading my sales uh, app now it's stock app that is being upgraded uh, you may encounter such errors multiple times as well so you can see over here i got an error again but as i said let the process finish and then you can see the errors will be gone so it's now upgrading the account app and soon it will be upgrading the crm so now it's upgrading the crm app and uh, it will also upgrade any other modules that, is, that are there in the system or are part of the system. Now it's upgrading the sales app. So basically this will upgrade uh, and change the schema wherever it finds necessary. But it will also preserve your existing data and uh, existing uh, records as well. So now you can see the server has been shut down automatically after the upgrade now you just remove these two parameters and start the server normally and you can see over here the server version is now 1.5 and if I go to my database and I'm just reloading it and in the backend you can see it's loading there is no error in the backend as well and if I go to 
my UI. You can see over here the database is now upgraded to version 1.5 and the new apps that are there for version 1.5 it's also installed as a part of dependency. So that's it. That's how easy it is to upgrade your Flectra database. See you soon.